Okay, welcome to another Smarter Architect follow-up tutorial. We're going to take a look at the Stair by Component tool a little bit deeper. What I want to do here is look at the question revolved around the landing. So I'm going to try to more thoroughly explain it a little bit. So if we come in here to the first floor, I'm still using the same uh, stair, but we're going to build another one right next to it <clears throat> that we can explore some things. So if I come over here to still my stair by component tool and what I want to point out, I'm still on my first floor and I'm going to drop my first landing in and I'm just going to come up nine risers. That's fine. And if I click here once right now, I want you to pay, continue to pay attention to my bar down here. My options bar, I actually have it located at the bottom of my screen. Um, I know sometimes your option bar more than likely is up here at the top, but you'll see my option bar at the bottom of the screen right now. And you'll see this automatic landing. If I don't have this checked right now, I believe that's your ish, the issue um, that you're having right now is you're not getting a landing between the two because that box is not checked. So if I just continue to click and drag here, you'll see no landing is automatically generated. However, if I just undo one step back and and back out. So let's just get rid of this stair that we have here and we'll start the stair by run again. And if I check that automatic landing, when I come up my nine risers, and then as soon as I designate the next start of my run, you'll actually see the sketch of the landing just being generated between those two runs. So that's how you get it by default. But if I just do a run, so if I come up nine risers without my automatic landing and just click and drag out here. Now that I don't have a landing in between, but I do have two equal runs to get me up to level two and I need to put my landing between. If I just now select the landing component and you'll see there's two separate ways of doing this. I can start and generate the sketch of that landing if it's going to be custom, but my preferred route and I would tell you to go this way as well as if you leave it on this tool right here, we can actually select these two runs and you'll see Revit will actually just drop a landing in between. And just to take this one step further at this point, if I just hit my escape key, select that landing once, and I didn't mean to drop a dimension in there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. But if I select this landing and click on my convert tool up here, it's going to convert it to a sketch based landing. So now I can hit edit sketch. You'll see convert is now grayed out because this landing has already been converted to a manual landing. And now you'll see my sketch tools. So in the event that I want to create maybe a little balcony off of this landing where the traffic, the through traffic could still continue on the stair, but I'm going to go ahead and give myself a boundary line. I'm just going to extend out here. Maybe there's a view off of this stairway. And I'm just going to extend my landing where, you know, a couple could stand off here and take a look at the view or something, for example. And I'm just going to cut this sketch here, use my modified tools and trim this together here. Now this won't affect the stair path. As I said, the through traffic will still continue. So I don't need to select on this stair path and, and modify that at all. So I'm just going to hit OK. And you'll see that landing is now a custom landing. So those are the steps we'll need to take here. And I'm going to hit OK one more time so that Revit goes ahead and generates my railing as well. Now let's go back to our 3D view. So here's the stair that we just generated using a custom landing um, and manually inserting it between. So you can take a look at the stair that we just generated versus what we completed in the first tutorial through automatic landing. So I hope this video is helpful. 
I appreciate you watching and submitting questions anywhere that I can try to help you and clarify anything I will and continue watching. Thanks a lot.